Now the B part says in the diagram EF is parallel to GH. That's EF. This is EF is parallel to GH. Okay. If the angle AEF is 3x degrees, angle AEF, AEF is 3x degrees, and the angle ABC is 120 degrees, the angle ABC is 120, that's the angle at B, is 120 degrees, and CHG is 7x, this is, this is CHG, the angle at H is um, 7x degrees, find the value of GHB, this is GHB, let's, let's mark this point. This is the angle we need, the angle GHB. So we need this angle GHB. But the first thing that comes to your mind is how do we go about this? How do we solve this? I like to say here that you could use different methods to solve this particular problem and get the same answer. But let's try this method. Let's try this method. Now, let's imagine we draw a straight line through this point B. Let's imagine we draw a straight line to this point P and we call this line PQ call this line PQ and let's let's say this line is parallel this line is a line that is parallel to EF and also GH so since this straight line PQ is dividing this angle 120 at B into two parts so what we need to do is let's let's distinguish the angles here we have one part of the angle here okay and also here we have the other part of the angle okay so now 120 the line pq is dividing the angle 120 into two angles here the blue one and the red the red angle so the question is how do we get what the value of these angles are let's let's just let's just solve that very fast let's solve that very fast so we'll say b this is the section for b okay so let's get the angle at b now if we look at the line ef and the line pq notice that the line ef is parallel to the line pq if you remember the principle that um, if you have a straight line like this, if you have a straight line like this, and you also have another straight line like this, if you have a straight line crossing these two parallel lines, these two parallel lines like this, and we have an angle here and another angle here like this, let's say this is angle A and this is another angle A. These two angles are called corresponding angles and they are always equal, okay? Anytime we have two parallel lines and a straight line passing through this two parallel line like this, okay? The angles formed like these are called corresponding angles and they are always, they are always equal. Now, from this we can establish something in this question. From this we can say here that the angle AEF, which is 3x degrees, we also have ABQ, this blue angle here is going, also going to be 3x degrees because these two angles are corresponding, they are corresponding angles, okay? So we could just write here that the angle AEF, the angle AEF equal to the angle ABQ, the angle ABQ, which equal to 3x degrees. We could just write outside. These are corresponding, corresponding angles, corresponding angles. Okay, these are corresponding angles. So we have this angle here as 3x degrees. So what will be the angle CBQ? We notice that the total angle here is 120 degrees. So therefore, the angle CBQ plus that CBQ plus ABQ. A, B, Q equal 120 degrees. I, I believe you agree with that. A, B, Q, the sum of A, B, Q plus C, B, Q will give us the total angle here, which is 120. But you remember that we have A, B, Q. We have A, B, Q as 3x degrees. So we write C, B, Q plus A, B, Q, which is 3x degrees equals 120 degrees. So we could just write that the angle C, B, Q equal 120 degrees minus 3x degree okay so we have cbq now we could just write this as 120 120 degrees minus 3x degrees so we know what cbq is presently now we need to find our ghb we need to find ghb now you also remember that when we have two straight lines like this when you have two straight lines like this and we have a straight line passing through like this you have a straight line passing through like this the angle here the angle formed here and the 
angle formula. Let's say this is B and this is B. These two angles are called alternate angles. If these two lines are parallel, if these two lines are parallel, they are called alternate angles. Okay. The condition is the two lines must be parallel. Now we notice here that PQ and GH are parallel lines, and we have something like this here. You notice we have this angle here, and we have this angle here. All right. So. This means that the angle C, CBQ, which is 120 degrees minus 3x degrees, is the same thing as the angle um, GHB, which is 120, 120 minus 3x degree. Okay, so we have GHB as 120 minus 3x degree because of that rule which says if you have two parallel lines and a straight line passes through like this, okay, the angle formed like this are called alternate angles. So we could just write here, we could just write here that the angle the angle CBQ equal to the angle GHB which equal to 120 minus 3x degree and this is called alternate you could just say alternate angles it's very good to always write the statements when when you solve problems like this so that the person reading through our work could understand the flow so here we have this like this now we have now we have the angle GHB as 120 minus 3x degrees, but we can't say this is our final answer. We need a value. We need a value. So we need to find the value of x so that we could just substitute in uh, minus 3x to solve this. So to solve this, we notice that the angle, the angle, the sum of the angle on the straight line is 180 degrees. And this is a straight line. The sum of the angle on this straight line, BHC, will be 180 degrees. So let's add the, the, the total angle on the straight line. So we have 120 minus 3x okay plus 7x equal 180 degrees that's the sum of angles on a straight line on a straight straight line sum of angles on a straight line so we have this so let's let's add this up so we have minus 3x plus 7x equal 180 so 120 goes to this other point so you have minus 120 degrees minus 120 degrees so at this junction we could just say minus 3x plus 7x this is like saying i owe you 3 naira minus 3x is like i owe you 3 naira 7x is like i have 7 naira so if i give you the 3 naira i'll have 4 naira left so you just say 4 x 180 minus 120 this is 60 60 degrees so what we'll do here is we that we divide both sides by four so if we divide both sides by four we'll have something very cool we'll have uh, 4x all over 4 equal to 60 all over 4 so 4 cancels 4 okay 4 here 1 4 here 15 so we have x equal to 15 degrees so now we have x as 15 degrees so since we have x as 15 degrees you can easily find what ghb would look like okay we have ghb as 120 minus 3x so we'll just come down we'll just come down and say now, since the angle GHB equal to 120, oh, this is not good enough. This is 120 minus 3x, and this is 120 minus, so you put 3, then x, which is 15, say 15, okay? So you have GHB equal 120 minus 3 times 15 will be 45. So we'll just say this implies that GHB equal to 120 minus 45 is 75 degrees. So we are asked to find, find the value of GHB. So the value of GHB is 75 degrees.